AG Labs, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello, welcome to the micro soldering show. Today, um, on this beautiful tu uh, Thursday, sorry, it's Thursday already. <laughs> oh, the week ran over us. Really crazy. So, today in the morning, I have an iPhone 8 here, which doesn't charge anymore, or only one person, and it loops and it boots up again. So, I don't need to use the ICC Pro here because the customer writes that he wanted to change the screen and after that this problem occurs. So it's typically that we got a problem I think uh, with the ripped off MOSFET so with the, with the SWI line, data line for the battery and um, because of that if the system asks battery are you here and the battery doesn't give an answer the phone just reboots every minute. So I think this sh should be the problem in that case, I don't know because I, I haven't disassembled the device until now. It's just what I read on the form and sometimes if I read things on forms, I normally know what to do or where the problem is. So okay, we have no screws at the bottom, crazy. We will renew them later and here. Yeah, it was already opened and you see the battery has been already changed, the screen has been already changed. So it's ugly quality and it isn't made in the right way for the flex cables. But this is a thing we see every day. People buy devices which, which, uh, which cost a lot of money and then if they are broken they try to repair them by them, they try to repair the devices by themselves. And after that they have, they have a lot of shit. So normally if I buy, buy a Porsche or a Mercedes, I don't go to, <laughs> I, I don't go to Aldi and buy, uh, buy parts f for that car for repair. So I, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand why, why people do this, but okay. I can't, I can't solve that. A lot of screws are just flying, just laying there in the device. I don't know, I don't know why. Okay, we just disconnect the screen. And after that, we just have a look under the microscope if we can see something. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, this is really just beautiful. You see that? The MOSFET has been ripped off completely. The pad has been gone too. And that's just typically. It typically damage after somebody tried to repair an iPhone 8 alone at home. But we have seen a lot of these damages caused by other repair shops too. So it's not only only the end customer who is sitting at home and um, destroys his own phone. So I just want to get up the clue sticker here and the clue sticker here. So and after that I want to see what about this MOSFET. Okay, it looks okay. Good, let's start the repair. I don't want to to get out the board for doing that repair. What about that diet here? Okay. Just a small amount of flux. Then we just take our soldering station and we just have a look if we can fix that. I'm pretty sure we can do. But I need another tip. So the thing is I want try to jumper here directly at the last pad. But I don't know if I can get it because I don't have many solder irons here at the moment. I have to to order again. So I hope I can get it with that one. Oh, it's 
fucked up. The tip is fucked up. No, this one is too big. Ah, looks bad for us. Okay, we got a small amount. A small amount here and we take a little bit of jumper wire. of jumper wire and let's see if we can get it on that point of solder it's really bad if you don't have the right the right iron And you see with that tip, which I have here, it's already bent. It's hard to do. And it just, it could be okay, but I don't want to risk anything. So I just show to you for the iPhone 8 Intel version, where this jumper has to be too. So, we open ZXW and you see that we just need to get one jumper from the battery connector directly to the MOSFET and because we are using an unisolated jumper I don't want to get contact to these test points. So, where we are? Here we are. That's pretty okay. Now we just cut it. Here we do a little cut. Okay. And then we just take a wipe. For doing the cleaning work. Okay, after that a brush and again the wipe. I want to see it clean. Clean all over the board. I will clean it one time later, but now for we'll just seal that jumper by using some UV. I don't want to have rests of flux here, okay? So just some UV solder mask. Oh, that was a little bit too much. And just 
just over this test point a little bit of sealing okay now we just hard it out by using the UV light and I need to get a new MOSFET here we have could do the jumper inside no problem but if you don't have the right tip here <laughs> and I don't have it at the moment I have to order it wouldn't be perfectly clean you see this tip which I have here is really big So, and now we just need a new MOSFET. nozzle done no problems at the connectors nothing so it looks clean and I use a wipe with a lot of contact cleaner so I don't need to use a brush you see it it's really clean after using that And I think that's pretty okay. Okay, now we can just test if our repair was successful or not. Let's take a cable. And we are waiting for some current flow. Okay, the battery is completely empty. Do I have a test battery for an iPhone 8? So don't waste time now. What about that? I don't know. I think that battery was wasn't good, but I'm pretty sure that I that I have a test battery for the iPhone 8 here. So okay. 
What about that? And boom! Back to life again or not? We wait until the device has booted so I can show to you that the percentage is shown and that the phone just works. We have 1.4 amps now, 1.5 amps, that's pretty okay. Now it just goes to 1.3 and that's really pretty okay. Okay, we have a personal image at the background, so I just go to the settings and here you can see the phone is fully working again. We see 11% here, so right percentage, not only 1% and we have 1.2 amps of current flow. So. Um, I think just a fast repair, fast and easy, you, do, you only need to know how to do. iPhone 8, no charge, only 1% perso percent and the device was looping after somebody tried to change the screen and the battery. So, no problem at all. If you want to learn things like that easily, you can do that at Bottle Repair School Germany. If you are working at a repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can for smartphones and tablets. You can just join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I would be happy to see you there. But please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. And yeah, by the amazing ICC Pro, I don't have one here because we have shipped all the devices out and today we have to produce a lot of other devices for um, getting the, the pre-orders done. Um, caused by Corona, we have a little bit more lead time and we're just working like machines, like really, it's, it's crazy. Okay, I'm out. We'll see us with the next video. I hope you like that. Boom! Back to life again. Here's Ben.